Hello, my name's Kian Wormsley. I'm author of Through the Interface, which is a blog for developers working with AutoCAD and other Autodesk technology. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about some work I've been doing to integrate Connect with AutoCAD. And that's both to bring in point cloud data um, inside an AutoCAD drawing, but also then to um, detect gestures made by the user and interpret those in a way that, that performs actions inside AutoCAD. Really just to prove a concept, you know, none of this is, is intended to appear in a, a future release of the product. It's very much to prove the concept, show what's possible, um, stimulate some, some ideas. So let's take a look at what we have here. We have AutoCAD 2012 um, and with a, with a view set up so that we can see the data that comes in from the Connect. In the bottom right hand corner we have a uh, little window which is actually a modified sample from the OpenNI SDK. Uh, and I've modified this sample to show the v, the, the RGB data that's coming in from the Connect sensor. Um, and just so you can correlate that with what you're seeing inside AutoCAD when, when we bring our, our, our full point cloud data in. So, so we're going to launch a custom c -sharp command that I implemented um, that's called Connect. Uh, and, and this makes use of a framework um, called nConnect inside AutoCAD, which exposes a lot of the, the capabilities of the Connect sensor um, in to, to um, .NET. And it makes use of the OpenNI SDK and also the Knight middleware um, provided by, by PrimeSense, the, the, the people that, that, that have provided the technology to Microsoft for, for much of, of, of the Connect. Um, now, what we're seeing here is a point cloud, a, a sort of a partial point cloud being being generated. I'm taking about 10% of the points that come in from the Connect sensor. The Connect sensor is, is 640 by 480, which means a total of 307,200 points. Um, and because we don't want to show 300,000 points, we're just taking 30 odd thousand of those um, to display more dynamically. Uh, now, when we click, however, What's going to happen is is the command is going to take the most recent set of points that were provided by the sensor, save those to a text file, use a little utility called text to las to create a las file from that text file, and then use standard AutoCAD commands point cloud index and point cloud attach to index the las as a PCG and then attach it inside the drawing. So here here's our point cloud that's come in. We can see that it's it it's certainly looks like me. We can see that it's in in full 3D. Um, it, we've, we've colorized it as well. So we have, um, because we, we can overlay the RGB data with the, the depth information, we're able to get fully colorized points. Um, you can see that, that there's my uh, Lego Death Star in the background inside my office. Um, and th that's the point cloud information as we see it. Um, let's get rid of that for now and I'm now going to literally take a step back and <clears throat> we'll see if we can get some gestures working so if I take a step back here then I have to strike the calibration pose which should be detected by the open NI um, middleware sorry the, the night middleware in this case. There we go. So that's detected my skeleton. At this point, I'm now getting a callback inside my code saying this is where the skeleton is. So I can then say, okay, I get information about the hands, about the, the parts of the body. So if I drop the, the left hand below the waist, what I'm then going to say is, okay, well, let's turn the right hand into a cursor. Um, so we're, we're displaying a, a sphere in yellow sort of transiently where, where my hand is, just so that we can uh, track it in 3D. It's like a 3D cursor, really. Um, and then we're going to follow my hand. And I see if I can spell my name well. Um, I'll just stick with my first name. I'll try doing my surname backwards and it doesn't work. Um, it's very difficult. So I left, lift my arm there. And that should say Kean, K-E-A-N. Uh, we can draw a separate polyline to underline it, for example, if I drop my hand again. Um, in fact, let's see if we can draw a box around it. And then, oops, I will go up. And then back across. And then 
and see if we can go down. All right, so that looks reasonably good. I'll raise my hand again. And then in theory, what I've done is, so when my hands get together, so I actually put my hands together, it should then terminate the command and bring in the point cloud just as we saw before. So, so, so that's what should happen at this stage. So it's going to launch through the same process. Um, and it's actually a process that I implemented first to bring in uh, point cloud data from Photosynth um, to, to, to see what we could do with, with, uh, with point cloud data there. So if you're interested in that, then certainly search my blog for browse Photosynth and you'll come across that um, and you'll be able to try that out without a connect device. So there we have it. Um, we have the, the full point cloud brought in. Um, there's a bit of a, uh, a depth issue going on there because I'm certainly closer to that when I was drawing it. Uh, but it's but you can see that the, the, the polylines that have been created are definitely in 3D. Which, which, in, which ultimately proves the, the potential for this uh, technology in terms of giving the ability to, to provide 3D input into a 3D system in order to either model, draw, or model, or, or navigate through 3D models um, in, in, inside a product such as AutoCAD. Uh, and I have no doubt that at some point um, somebody is going to do something more interesting with this, with this technology. So thank you very much for, for, for watching. If you'd like to find out more, um, please go to my blog. If you Google for through the interface and AutoCAD, then, then you'll definitely find it. Um, and be sure to, to post comments either via YouTube or my blog if, if you found this interesting and if you'd like to see something more. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye.